here with another in our series of affinity photo tutorials but this one is uh, one of the series on the um, going through the tools on the left hand side now we've done the first uh, six or seven but in fact I've had a request to do um, the um, uh, in painting a healing brush so it's basically the blemish removal tools um, uh, on the left hand side now normally most people would have it on the in painting because that's the one that most people would use most of the time certainly the one that I use most of the time and uh, but we will explore the others in here most of these in here or so so let's look at each one of these um, so we've got a photograph here that doesn't have any particular blemishes or any particular things to remove. I have another photograph here where we can work on this as well. So the in-painting tool, um, uh, in-painting brush tool is very useful. Um, and essentially, the key thing to remember is increase or decrease the size of your brush. And if we think that this, this line here that... Um, uh, is either a cloud line or it's a um, uh, vapor trail from an airplane and we wanted to remove that all we need to do is basically do a rough trace around the edge and and let the software itself remove the blemishes by sampling pixels either side now how well it works depends on how randomly you use the tool okay now I could just paint it all the way along and that might work quite well but it, what it might do is leave we would zoom in it might leave a, dis a discernible line it hasn't actually in this case so let me just rewind that back and just try as one long line and see how that works and if you do it easy way, if it works well and it doesn't look noticeable, which it doesn't there, fine. If it does give you a discernible line, um, then clearly you might want to do it more, you know, randomly and do a section at a time. And if that works better, use that method. OK, do a small section, maybe go to um, uh, another section here and then do what, a little bit at a time okay so at the end of the day it's what works for a given photograph a given set of um, lighting conditions a given resolution and a given size of brush that you use okay so we've established that that actually works quite well okay so that's good and of course we can remove these uh, tree uh, branches and twigs um, again try it in one area if it works that's it then try it in another area and you could do a whole area one go but my advice is do a small section at a time if it works well then do a larger section there we go that worked fine okay so that's um the uh, the um uh, in painting brush tool so it's basically painting inside of a given area that you are creating a, a, you, you know painting with the brush Let's look at the healing brush, okay? Now the healing brush is very similar, but you're actually forcing the software to sample from a particular area. So if you use the um, uh, Option key or the uh, Alt key on a, on a Windows, and you select with the mouse where you want to sample from by clicking the mouse, you can see there's a little dot there across here and you're essentially telling the software i want you to sample from there that distance away and as i paint it will fill in those pixels so you're doing the same job at the end of the day but you are selecting where to choose the pixels from so you're not allowing the software to choose you are telling it to because it might not be the pixels very nearby it might be a little bit further away that are more appropriate to sample so that's um the um uh, healing brush tool very similar to the in painting but you have uh, different control okay so the blemish removal tool <clears throat> is essentially that any small <clears throat> excuse me any small uh, small um, uh, spots on your sensor any small um, dots 
or if you're scanned in an old uh, print photograph and you've got uh, missing emulsion or little um, scratches, uh, small dot scratches, then you might want to say, well, okay, there here's some scratches. Uh, these aren't scratches. These are just reflections in a uh, modern photograph. But let's just say that that was a blemish, a small, a small blemish. All I do is you position it over it, and not it's great for small dots. And you increase the size size of your brush, and this is key, so that the brush is roughly about two thirds bigger, um, sorry, two times bigger than the blemish itself. And then just click once with a mouse and it should do a really good job okay so again if it works fine if it doesn't redo the size of the brush and that works it's not something you paint with it's more about initial blemish but those look great because when you zoom out you're not going to um you're not going to see uh, exactly how those blemishes were removed it will be done really really well. this is great for dust spots and um, spots on your sensor as well okay so that's that one and um, the uh, so we've done the blemish we've done the healing we've done the in painting now the red eye removal is fairly self-explanatory most software have got this most people use it on the phone or on a, a tablet so essentially if you've got a photograph with red eye uh, you just um, center the brush on it i haven't got a photograph here for that and um, you just click it once so it's a bit like the um, uh, blemish removal but it's optimized for red pixels in the middle of uh, an eye essentially that 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 works really well and the last thing i want to demonstrate is the patch tool now the patch tool is a little bit tricky to understand where you would use it but let me just try and demonstrate it so what you would do is under the uh, patch tool you are essentially drawing a selection of where you what you want to patch up okay and then you position your mouse where you want to select pixels from and it does a large area so a patch if you like and once you've done that you can swivel that around you can increase the size so it can be quite creative actually and then just double click and that's been patched up now that's not really what um what's that effective but if you are patching up again a large area of a background with another part and it might be work that this tool is better so really all these repair tools are about picking the right tool for the right repair for the right fo uh, for a given photograph okay so give that a go um, and it's particularly good for repairing old photographs uh, that combination but just be mindful of doing each one on a new layer and uh, that's always a good idea so let me just show you very quickly there's our base layer if I duplicate that layer um, if I duplicate that layer sorry, if I duplicate that layer and and then apply the effect whatever it is on that that would be far better than doing it on the original layer so try that give us some feedback and see how you get on thank you very much